today we are making a video on tails 5.12 here is the boot menu of tails so in order to boot in a live mode you need to uh, click on tails and enter it's going to take a few seconds uh, maximum of uh, one minute or minimum of uh, 30 to 40 seconds as usual as in linux distros so it's a debian based linux distro and it has a GNOME desktop environment and it also has a Tor uh, browser so we should be uh, getting our tiles uh, loaded up in any few seconds like this uh, 30 to 40 seconds as I mentioned and I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a VMware which is a virtualization also with a 4 GB of RAM 80 GB of hard disk and uh, two processors two processors running so again it's going to take a few more seconds and uh, here we can see our loading screen or the welcome screen we should be having our tiles in any uh, seconds this is the latest release uh, which is a 5.12 it released uh, yesterday or you, in some other countries it should be released today we should be having our tiles uh, uh, booting up with uh, I downloaded uh, I downloaded the ISO file you can boot it up uh, with a USB stick or a DVD like anything you want you can burn into a CD like that there are a lot of uh, options or plenty of options available to use the tiles OS so I think we should be having our desktop and here is our mouse pointer as you can see it is working properly and uh, here is our welcome screen almost done these are some accessibilities a volume and a power of switch and you can and uh, here you can see the welcome to tails uh, which is also a welcome screen uh, here are the language selection you can select your language and uh, region I'm choosing the language as uh, United States English and the keyboard layout is also English United States formats are United States English you can uh, create a persistent storage if you want you can read all these things uh, persistent storage was available from uh, past few versions uh, like a three or four versions so let me boot it in a uh, let me boot the tiles OS like uh, clicking on start tiles we should be having our uh, desktop layout uh, completely loaded in a few seconds because it's going to take a few more seconds to load up uh, like uh, everything uh, it is trying to set up everything for us it should be taking like a maximum of uh, 20 seconds or maybe more than 20 seconds uh, but for me it instantly opened like it just took like a 10 to 12 seconds so let me change the display resolution first uh, here you can see the automatic uh, talk connection is uh, uh, launched and if you want to choose anything you can choose it let me first change the display resolution because uh, it's that's not the proper resolution for my uh, monitor let me go to settings and uh, change the display settings ignore my keyboard sound and some uh, weird noises because uh, people around my neighborhood are going crazy right now so let me change the display resolution first my display resolution is a 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio uh, people who can't see the text of font size you can change the uh, scaling up to 200 percent it's going to give the best option with the 1920 into 1080 uh, 16 is to 9 ratio and 200 percent should be pretty good let's go to the about first and here is the device name amnesia uh, i'm uh, having a memory of a uh, 4 gb with uh, uh, in a vmware so it's going to say 4 gb and here is my processor which is a 12th gen i5 and the disk capacity is a hard disk uh, which I choose like a 80 GB but it's going to say 85.9 GB for some reason I don't know so OS name is a tiles which is a 64 bit and the GNOME version is still 3.38 or 3.38.5 and Windows system is a Wayland and the virtualization is a VMware so I already mentioned that I'm running it on a VMware which is a virtualization in order to use the internet uh, in the tails browser you need to connect through a tor uh, 
automatically a tor connection i'm going to connect to a tor automatically if you want to configure a tor bridge you can and hide to local network that i'm connecting tor you can do all these text, uh, settings you can customize on your own so let me continue to connect to tor and the uh, icon here should be changed in a few seconds after connecting so instead of waiting let's uh, check out other features like uh, these things which are uh, some desktop features here is a volume a wired connection i'm using a wi-fi but it's uh, saying a wired connection because it's uh, vmware so it is almost connected successfully and here you can see the onion circuits is the icon changed so let's close this thing and uh, let's check the version of the tails let's go to tails and about tails the version should be 5.12 this is the latest version and here is the build information 2023-0418 here you can see live config version live boot version and some of the info let's close this thing and uh, go to the tails documentation click on open it's going to open the tor browser or the internet browser available in the tails the default browser is a uh, firefox which is a tor browser tor browser based on uh, firefox so it's going to take a few more seconds let's go to the desktop features back to desktop features here is a, a calendar and time and here is our uh, web browser opened let's check the version about tor browser the tor browser version is a 12.0.5 and it's based on a Mozilla Firefox 102 and dot uh, 10. The latest version is a 112, uh, but it's still in a old version. Like almost a 10 point version is uh, back. So let's close this thing and uh, let's click on the Tails homepage and uh, let's scroll it down. Here is a news of a 5.12 Tails is out on 19th number. Let's see the new features. Data deletion when deactivating a feature of the persistent storage is a new feature here. You can go through all the things, faces, suggestion when creating the persistent storage and changes and updates. The browser is a, a version to 12.0.5 as we saw before. I'm going to show it again so you will be clearly having an info of what is going on here. The version is 12.0.5. This is the latest version browser and updated the Linux kernel to 6.1.20. After point you should call as a 20 but uh, some people don't understand that so I'm going to say 6.1.20. So let's open the terminal and uh, let me show you the uh, what you call it the kernel version. Ignore my mouse voice, uh, mouse sound and keyboard sound and some other people's uh, in the background because people in my neighborhood uh, I don't know what they are doing so let me type in the commands for example inxi dash sv8 this is the command which will grab every uh, info of the distro but uh, i don't think it works on a debian uh, i don't think it works on a tails but let's me let me try try to show you the kernel version which is a uh, uname dash a which will open the kernel version as you can see it's uh, Linux version is 6.1.20 but uh, it is 6.1.0 here and the Debian version is here as you can see there is the same version Linux Amnesia version is this and Debian version is this so let me type in another command which is also a same command which will uh, give only the kernel version here is the kernel version this also so let's type in exit uh, this thing and uh, let's check out other features what are new the gnome version uh, gnome terminal version is a 3.38.3 .3. let's close this thing and use a new icon for the backup utility for the persistent storage that's it there's nothing changes in uh, 5.12 just a few uh, issues and uh, some other there is none of the issues in the known issues so just a few updates as you can see if you want to go through all the settings you can go to website and check out what's latest here so let me show you how to download the distro by going under the get tails 5.12 you can choose it how to download uh, for the usb stick or the iso file uh, for the iso file i choose the iso file but uh, here is the iso file for virtualization or virtual machines uh, this is the file I downloaded 
Uh, for USB stick, you need to go with the USB image. For the ISO file, you need to go to this thing. And you should be having the ISO file starting download. So here is a file size which is around 1.3 GB. Uh, you can download it with a torrent. Uh, you can verify your uh, download uh, which is check some all these things you already know what I'm talking about you can continue installing or update tiles by like this uh, here are some warnings if you want to go through all the settings uh, all these things you can go through all these things let me close this thing and uh, go through what are all the installed apps here pre-installed apps which are available this is the new icon for the backup persistence uh, which was mentioned in the website so this is the icon changed uh, let's look out the let's check out the uh, pre-installed apps which comes with the tails 5.12 here are the pre-installed apps uh, almost every important apps are the every usual uh, used apps which are audacity uh, audacity is not used for, from everyone but uh, gimp is used by everyone almost image viewer inkscape library office is used everywhere or every person and these are some other apps let's scroll it down let me open the system monitor and check uh, how much resources are consumed uh, and uh, we will be having an idea of uh, how much resources are consumed these are the processes running right now and the on the resource side let me change the color first and here is the cpu and here is the ram ram is almost uh, 1.5 gb we didn't open that many apps just a firefox browser uh, while we boot it up, we should be having like a 1.2 GB or 1.3 GB. It should be having like that. Uh, after opening apps, it should uh, go to until uh, 1.8 GB. So here is the CPU and the RAM usage. I'll run it up to, up to 60 seconds. So you will be having an idea of a stable graph or a high peak or a low peak. You will be getting an idea of what is going on with the CPU and RAM. And here is the system monitor. Let me close this thing. And here is the graph. If you want to see all the graph, you can uh, see here. Let me run through, uh, let me run until uh, 60 seconds. So the graph is almost uh, stable. There is no high peak and a low peak here. There's a stable graph going. Just in the beginning, it's uh, pretty common in every Linux distro. Ignore the network settings uh, or network graph because you don't need to worry about the network. You just need to worry about the resources, which are RAM and the CPU. Here are the file system. Let me close this thing and uh, it automatically changed the wallpaper. I don't know why. Let's change the background. Let's see what are the wallpapers available right now. Just a basic Debian wallpapers uh, which were available in the previous version too. Nothing changed. Let to, let's uh, open few uh, apps and see. Let's check the first uh, file manager which is 3.38.2 which is a stable version let me open we already opened Thor browser let's open Thunderbird which is a mail client which is also important to show uh, why I show this all the uh, apps uh, information or the apps uh, version because some people want to know what version will uh, be having in that uh, latest release so just for them just for that people I'm just going to show the version 102.9.0 so it also helps as uh, in a uh, uh, other way like uh, as soon as we open the apps so it's going to sh show up the RAM usage so let's open as so a lot of apps and see how much resources uh, it consumes so it will help others to use it or not uh, like this Linux distro is good for them or not so here is the GIMP version let me close the GIMP and let's open the Inkscape which is also a, a important app which is also used in a, a lot of uh, Linux distros and uh, people also use them a lot of people here is the version of Inkscape let me close this thing I think we opened like a uh, five to six apps I guess favorites accessories and uh, graphics let me open the library office it's also important because a lot of people use document files all these things so we should be having our library office open in any second because it's a bit of a midweight uh, app so it's going to take a few seconds to load up 
the version is almost 7.0 and uh, the version which is available with the tails should be like a 7.5 because that's the latest version available right now the version should be same in a uh, library calculator like pre impress everything uh, the latest version is 7.0.4.2 which is available in the tails 5.12 Uh, the latest version is like a 5.7.5.2 uh, like that so it's not a latest version but it's almost a latest version so let's close this thing and let's see what are all apps uh, still available and uh, let's try to open that too i think we covered everything let's open snaptic package manager and uh, see the uh we need a password for this snaptic package manager so we don't know the package manager or the password So let's close this thing. So let me exit this thing. It automatically exit. So let's go to the uh, system monitor and check the resources and uh, end this video. So there is nothing uh, difference here. Just a 1.6 GB and the CPU is like this. So as you can see here, if you want to use it, you can use it. If you don't want, it's clearly up to you. I think even if you have a 2 GB of RAM, you will be good to run this uh, Linux distro. But you will be seeing some uh, a lag or a bit of a delay in uh, opening some uh, apps or uh, softwares. So keep that in mind. So let me go to the internet browser and uh, show you my inter uh, my YouTube channel and end the video. I showed you already how to download the distro and I will show you my channel and end the video. So in order to check my channel or in order to uh, watch my channel daily without uh, subscribing if you are here for uh, my content without subscribing if you want to watch my content without subscribing just type in youtube.com 925linux I don't force you to subscribe it's clearly up to you if you want to subscribe you can if you don't want it's clearly up to you I'm not going to force that I respect your opinion here is the URL you need to type in your browser Uh, if you are using a browser you need to type in this complete url if you are using a youtube app in tv mobile or a tab you just need to type in 9 to 5 linux uh, only if you are using a browser type in full url like this click on enter and it's going to open my channel and uh, this is on a tor connection maybe it can open or not because youtube and google doesn't work with uh, tor it's always uh, Uh, we always have a problem like a uh, google recapture because it's using a tor connection if you are not using a tor connection my channel should be open so all the info will be there uh, again i forgot to mention that i will posting two videos daily without missing any day so keep that in mind and uh, there are timings uh, in my channel if you want to go to channel and check out my timings and you will be having that content at that time so that's it for the video let's end the video there's nothing changed here so let me shut it down again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out